And turning to the mining industry now, because we're constantly hearing stories of a skill shortage in WA, especially in our resources industry. But one company believes it's more about skills utilisation, and they're doing something about it. FIFO Bids co-director Mike Haywood says many employees accept jobs without knowing exactly what's involved, the location and conditions on site. And he says this is causing a high turnover of staff in the resources industry. So he's started a recruitment company matchmaking staff with companies and then effectively auctioning them off, not to the highest bidder, but the best match. And he reckons it might be the recruitment of the future. Pfeiffer Bids originally started uh, as an idea to try and solve the skill shortage, basically, in the resource industry. So we're working with labour hire groups, and one of the biggest issues was labour hire groups had no way of, I guess, improving their utilisation. They had a lot of people and staff, um, but they weren't always using them in the industry. At the same time, we saw that you know a lot of resource companies had lots of vacancies across the board, and some vacancies had been open, you know, for 200 days. And trying to fill these positions was a real challenge for people. So, you know, we thought there must be a better way of matching companies to workers. It sounds like you're almost a, a bit of a matchmaking service. Can you tell us how it all works? We're trying to stop the churn, basically. So we're trying to better match workers with companies. The worker creates their profile and that profile is private to them, okay, and they can grow that over time as they do more work and earn more qualifications and skills and certificates. They can put themselves in the market and that's something different. And by going into the market, they say, these are the conditions around which I'd like to receive offers and pay is just one small part of it. So they can choose the rosters, their work locations, whether they want to fly in, fly out or whether they'd rather be residential, if they just want to work in the major cities instead of going to site and all the conditions on site that make up what they're happy to, you know, negotiate a workplace agreement with the company. And so searching companies can find those people in the market and then they can place a bid on them if they feel that that person matches their vacancy well. And so then FIFO bids will collate the top five bids at the end of that person's market period, which might be seven days, and send them the top five bids. And then the worker can choose out of that top five which of the offers they'd like to entertain. And the company is obliged within a week to contact the worker to continue the interview process. What we're doing overnight is essentially, if a company needs a worker, they can find them instantly. They can find a worker that they know actually wants to work under that company's conditions. So when they do invest in that worker and bring them on board, chances are they're going to be retained for a lot longer. Is this the first system of its kind, auctioning off staff? I think it is, but it's not really auctioning off staff. It's auctioning off expressions of interest. Is this the recruitment of the future? I think, you know, what we're doing is we're, we're giving workers a choice and they're very curious about saying, hey, if I create a profile, put myself in the market for seven days, at the end of those seven days... I don't know what opportunities are going to be given to me. There's some concern that that this kind of recruitment may falsely inflate the the cost of of labour. What what do you say to that? Well, I think, you know, in the supply-demand market, it's it's very difficult to predict what anything's going to do. I mean, people try and predict the stock market every day, whether it's going to go up or down, and we're continually proven wrong. I think if the benefits of of matching the worker to the company better and saving the recruitment costs and all the lost productivity and downtime of not filling that vacancy far outweighs any impacts that an open labour market can have on the cost of wages. It is applicable to all industries. At the moment, I mean, we have a resource problem, we have a skill shortage in Australia, so absolutely that's where all the focus is and that's where the papers have picked up and the media's picked up. But at the end of the day, it's applicable to every single industry, whether, you know, whether you're a nurse or whether you're an IT technician or, or whether you're a chef or a cleaner or a cook. That's FIFO Bids co-director Mike Haywood there. And Mike says he hopes the service will soon start attracting overseas visitors as well.